we want to solve the given absolute value equation. We have the absolute value of the quantity 2x plus 1 equals the absolute value of the quantity 6x minus 4. Before we continue, let's look at the notes here on the right. In general, if we have an equation in the form of the absolute value of x equals the absolute value of y, there are four cases to consider. The equation will be true when x equals y or negative x equals negative y, but notice these two equations are equivalent. If we multiply both sides of the first equation by negative one, we do get negative x equals negative y. The two other cases are x equals negative y or negative x equals y. But once again, these two equations are equivalent. If we multiply both sides of the first equation by negative one, we do get negative x equals y. This indicates in order to set up and solve equations to solve the absolute value equation given, we only have to set up and solve two equations, one from the first bullet and one from the second bullet. For the first equation, let's leave the expressions inside the absolute value as positive and set them equal to each other. Again, if we took the opposite of both expressions and set them equal to each other, the equation will be equivalent to this equation. And then for the second equation, let's leave the expression 2x plus one positive and then take the opposite or make the second expression on the right negative, which gives us the positive expression 2x plus one equals a negative or the opposite of the expression 6x minus four. And again, if we try to set this up where we took the opposite of the left side and kept the right side positive, the equation would be equivalent. So we only have to set up and solve these two equations. Going back to the left, when we take the positive expressions, we can simply drop the parentheses and solve for x. Let's go ahead and subtract 6x on both sides to get the x terms on one side. Simplifying, we have negative 4x plus one equals negative four. Next, subtract one on both sides. Simplifying, we have negative 4x equals negative five. And finally, we divide both sides by negative four, giving us x equals positive 5 fourths or 1.25. Notice I am giving the decimal here. It's okay to get the decimal as long as it terminates. We would never want to round the decimal because then the solution is no longer exact. And now for the second equation, we can drop the parentheses on the left. On the right, we can think of taking the opposite of each term inside the parentheses or distributing negative one. This gives us two x plus one equals negative six plus four. And now to solve for x, let's add six x to both sides. Simplifying, we have eight x plus one equals four. Subtracting one on both sides, we have eight x equals three. And dividing both sides by eight, we have x equals three eighths, or as a decimal, 0 0.375. These are the two solutions to the given absolute value equation. Before we go though, let's check this graphically. To check the solution graphically, we graph y equals the absolute value of the quantity 2x plus one, and y equals the absolute value of the quantity 6x minus four. The x coordinates of the intersection points will be the solutions. Looking at the graph, we have two points of intersection. For the first point of intersection, we have x equals 0 0.375 or 3 eighths, and for the second point of intersection, we have 1.25 or 5 fourths. The graph verifies our solutions are correct. I hope you found this helpful.